Hello, good evening. Welcome to Gospel Nest Weekly Broadcast. I trust God that it's been a beautiful Sunday for you today. Um, it's the last Sunday in the month of September. And for us over here, we're in Nigeria, Port Harcourt. It's 9 p.m. West African time. I'd like us to begin with a word of prayer. Our Father, we thank you tonight again because you're here in our midst. We are grateful that we have the opportunity to share fellowship. Lord, may the discussion tonight be to the benefit of both the hearer and the speaker. Let your glory be yours in the end. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, it's been a joy in this wonderful journey on social media, trusting the Lord who has graciously filled our mouth to be able to share with us on the social media platform. I want you to remember that we have been on a discussion under the series of the assignment assignment series and we've looked at um, a whole lot of discussions under the assignment um, we just finished the leadership portrait um, tonight we want to begin a new topic on networking networking um, in a sense networking has something to do with teamwork or association okay so um, we could be interchanging these words together um, to communicate the idea of what it means to network in order to fulfill the assignment committed to you how does networking help us I'll, I'll read a Bible passage like we have said the Bible is the book of all wisdom Okay, it's a compendium for life. So whatever you're looking for, there's an answer in the Bible. And tonight we want to give a brief background, but let's read Psalm 133. Say how good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard down upon the collar okay running down on Aaron's bread down upon the collar of his robes it is as if the dew of Hermon we are falling on Mount Zion for there the Lord bestows his blessing even life forevermore so um, the psalmist is giving an exhortation for unity and in a sense he gives an imagery that tries to explain networking so he says it is good and beautiful or pleasant for brethren or brothers to dwell together in unity now how how is unity effective? The assignment to maintain the unity of the Spirit or to keep the unity of the Spirit for which Jesus died in the bond of peace. How is it uh, guaranteed? How do we achieve this? He said, you could just visualize this. It can be pictured like the oil poured upon the head all right of Aaron who is actually the priest or high, the high priest of God in the Old Testament okay so it flows from his head to his breast just picture it now from his breast to his garments networking carries an oil 
that helps people fulfill the assignment. But the one who is the vision carrier is the one upon whom the oil begins to flow from. Let me put it this way. I like the way Dr. Mensah Otabil um, tried to explicate the scripture in 2 Kings chapter 4 from verse 1. Okay, and you know the storyline about a widow of a prophet whose sons were going to become bondsmen because the husband you know, died and left a debt for them. And because they couldn't pay the debt, their sons or the creditors were coming to take their sons as slaves. Okay, and then she ran to Elisha and said, Man of God, I want you to help me. My husband was a faithful servant of yours. This is what is happening. And so Elisha said, What do you have in your house? And she said, I have nothing. The first response was, I have nothing. Okay, but the next thing she said, I have a little jar of oil. Okay? So, <laughs> it's an interesting narrative, isn't it? Someone that was asked, what do you have? And you're saying, I have nothing. It's a little jar of oil. So you have something, actually. Now, the prophet um, did not prophesy and say, the heavens will open over you and then Morning will fall tonight for which you will use to pay your bills. What did the prophet say? He said, okay, you have some vessels. Go to your neighbors. Borrow vessels. Borrow not a few. That means borrow so much vessels. Don't just borrow a few vessels. All right? Okay, so, and then take these vessels into a room, lock yourself inwards, pour the oil upon the vessels. When you pour the oil upon the vessels, fill up the vessels. And the woman obeyed the prophet, and of course, she locked herself indoors, took the little jar of oil and began to pour. The miracle began. She did not lack oil but she lacked vessels. At some point, the vessels were exhausted, but the oil did not fail. All right? And so, Mensah Otabi was trying to give a revelation about this, and he said something like, um, wherever I go, I borrow vessels. I have oil, but I borrow vessels. So networking in a sense, is about borrowing vessels upon which you pour your oil. So the vessels are different creativities. The oil is your assignment. It's the vision you are committed with to accomplish. Now, with the help of so many vessels or different vessels, you pour your oil. Okay, and then you borrow the vessel. So you, you, you identify a brother who is gifted differently from you and his gift is necessary for your assignment. You call him under your oil and borrow his gifting as a vessel. That's, in a sense, the way networking operates. For you to fulfill your assignment, network, networking, um, flows as oil. Now guess where the oil lands? From the head of Aaron, the birds, and where next? His garments. I, I think it doesn't confuse us because you want to know that a garment is a clothing made out of 
a high network of fibers interacting with each other, forming a fabric that is eventually developed the more to produce a garment, a clothing. So this high network of interaction of fibers receives the oil. Otherwise, why would the oil touch the garment? Is it so that you wash it off? No. There is a message, a superior message that is being communicated here. And that message is that this garment is not just an ordinary garment. It's a network of fibers. These fibers are not just ordinary fibers. They are human interactions that bring covering over your life and your assignment just by your oil dropping on them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So your oil dropping on them, they communicate what they have in a very fine and definitive and creative, spectacular interaction, forming all kinds of forms and shapes and mosaics that give beauty to your assignment. Beloved, your assignment requires a network of interaction. The Oxford Dictionary tells us that networking is the action or process of interacting with others to change, to exchange information and develop professional and social contacts. So it's one way the English dictionary will see networking. Okay? And I, I, I think it just gives us a picture of what, how we can apply it. But in this case, it's talking about exchange of information. So there is something you know that I don't know and I need to know. There is something I know that you don't know and you need to know. So we meet in a network, exchange information, not for fun, but to be able to harness what we have and make glorious advancements in life. There is another word I, I'd like us to look at, the word team. A wise man known as Gary S. Topchik tried to explain um, team or define team to mean a group of individuals or groups of individuals who accomplish designated objectives. One, by working interdependently, communicating effectively, and making decisions that affect their works. So first of all, group, groups of individuals eh, that are accomplishing designated objectives. So you want to, you want to understand, you like to understand that networking, it's visionary. Networking is not um, a random activity that has no direction. It's not directionless. There, is, there are objectives, there are visions, there are goals to accomplish. Okay? And they do this by working interdependently, needing each other, communicating effectively. So you see again, exchange of information, making decisions that affect their works. Again, the word association. A group of people organized for a joint purpose. So a team could be an association of people who have common purpose. Alright? Now, what is reoccurring in these words is that they are coming together to fulfill something greater than them. Glory to God. And that's the key. There is an assignment. There is a heavenly vision. Every one of us born into this world, God has created in us 
or created with us potentials to fulfill certain things that we alone are created to fulfill. But in, in trying to fulfill these things, we don't live life independently. We all live lives interdependently. You need me, and I need you. As a matter of fact, the rebellion in the Garden of Eden was about man declaring independence from God. It's not supposed to be so. Alright? So, it takes a lot of humility to work as a team. Um, John Maxwell, in his 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, tried to quote someone, I can't remember his name, and, you know, the person was saying that um, leadership requires that you work with others and you, you um, how did he put it? The, you, you give them the credit for the work being done. All right? You give them the credit for the work being done. And that takes a lot of humility. Knowing that everyone has exchanged ideas, everyone has exchanged creativity, everyone has exchanged competence, everyone has brought something on the table, all hands have been on deck. But you give the credit to others. Andrew Carnegie said, and I quote, The secret of his company is, I have a team of smarter men working with me. Glory to God. I have a team of smarter men working with me. So networking is actually a relational activity. It's an activity with other human beings like you. The purpose is to galvanize the potentials of others in a team setting in order to enhance productivity. Tonight, I'll, I'll not want to stretch you with um, excess information because we'll be coming back here on Thursday, um, 1st of October, um, 2020 to complete this particular discussion but suffice it suffice it to be known to you that the idea of networking is to enhance productivity is for your assignment to receive a boost for your assignment to be projected beyond what you have capacity to achieve. Hallelujah. So, tonight, I'd like to ask you, do you work in a network? Do you engage in a network? The Bible says, where we read in Psalm 133, that this is where God commands his blessings. He said, even life forevermore. God commands his blessings on a network of interactions that will lead to better productivity in the assignment committed to us. I'd like us to pause a bit. Ponder the few things we have shared. Recognize that there is need for you to work with other people. Don't do it alone. You will wear out and you will not bring out the best in you. Pour your oil on other vessels. Hallelujah. Pour your oil. Borrow vessels. Pour your oil on them. By the revelation of Dr. Mensah Otabio. Go borrow vessels. Your oil will never fail. You can only lack vessels. So feel free, wherever you go, and you find vessels, borrow them and give them the privilege to contribute to your assignment. And you have the testimony of a champion. You will never be a loser. I'd like to pray with you 
and trust God that you will glean some lessons from tonight's podcast. Especially those of you who are alive and those who connect later on. Who would, or those who will want to listen to this broadcast again, just go back on our page, on all our social media handles, and Facebook, um, Twitter, at Gospelness, or even the YouTube channel. Pick up the videos and go through them again. You will surely be blessed. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. You have encouraged us tonight to carry our oil into vessels. Even if we will need to borrow these vessels, give us grace to network with others in a common objective as we exchange ideas and communicate effectively for higher productivity. Continue to bless us on this platform and let the testimonies bring glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. God bless you. It's been a great time having you. Um, stay tuned in all our daily meditations for the week on Gospel Next Daily Meditation. All these on our social media handles at Gospel Next. Shalom. Have a great week ahead and a crossover into October. God bless you.